Hi, everyone. Karen Roby, Daphne LaFrance Rongay here for ZDNet. We're talking today about IBM's uh, first developer certification for quantum. And this is really exciting, uh, Daphne. And you've put together a, a really in-depth piece about this. Tell us what the certification is and, and what does it mean? So IBM has a number of certifications already for developers, but it never had a quantum developer certification. So this is the first uh, developer certification specifically for quantum. Um, it uh, takes the form of a 60 question exam um, about uh, basically the building blocks of building and creating a quantum program for quantum computers. Um, it's obviously for, for, for obvious reasons based on Qiskit, which is IBM's open source quantum um, software development kit. Um, that can be used to, as I said, run, execute, visualize, build quantum programs, quantum algorithms, uh, try them on um, quantum simulators and IBM's quantum cloud-based hardware. Um, and uh, essentially successful candidates that successfully pass this test will be able to demonstrate that they have those skills, that they're able to run and execute those programs on IBM simulators and quantum hardware. Um, so obviously that's uh, a big deal for the developers that have been using Qiskit for a number of years now. Uh, Qiskit is one of the most popular software development kits for quantum out there in the industry. There, there's over 500,000 developers that have downloaded uh, the SDK and that are regularly playing around with it. And so for the first time, this will give them the opportunity to actually have a certification that, that proves what they are capable of, um, that proves their experience with the software, um, and that proves exactly what uh, they can and cannot do uh, with quantum computers and quantum programs, uh, software and hardware uh, included. And Daphne, when we talk about uh, you know comparing this certification to maybe others or, or similar educational programs, how does it stack up? So this is actually one of the first, uh, well, the first industry-based quantum developer certification, as as IBM explains. Um, in fact, as a, as a quantum developer today, uh, even though the, the technology comes with a certain hype, it's actually quite hard to prove what you can and cannot do, uh, say, if you're facing a future employer in a, in a job interview. Uh, typically, employers look at things like academic backgrounds, they look at things like skills and experience, uh, but it's really hard to know what a developer can do um, in terms of bringing value to your business and, and, and bringing quantum to business applications. It's been such a problem that there have actually been uh, experts in the domain, in, in the field that have come together in symposiums to try and sort of reshape education, higher education, to make sure that um, what, you can, what you get in education is actually suited to the needs of business. So it's definitely a, a field where there is a lack of structure maybe. Um, and it's quite hard to understand exactly how to build your quantum workforce very simply because there aren't those structures in place and there aren't those proofs that the person in front of you can do what they say they're doing. Um, so in that sense, it's a first in the industry and it, it will what it will tell to a future employer is that the person in front of them is capable of understanding a business problem that's suited to quantum and they're capable of uh, building an application on top of that, a program on top of that and mapping that business problem to the world of quantum uh, in a way that is relevant to a business. Um, so that's probably where, where this makes a, a major difference is, is in showing that this is relevant to industry and relevant to business use cases. All right, and finally, uh, Daphne, are there limitations uh, with this certification? Are there other things that employers are gonna be uh, requiring uh, for developers? So obviously it's, it's hard to create a certification that will be suited to all the possible needs that an um, employer might have in the domain of uh, quantum. Um, that's simply because it's impossible to check all those boxes because the ecosystem uh, of quantum computing today is so diverse. There are many different vendors, many different types of hardware, many different types of software. So um, clearly there is no one certification that will uh, certify that you know how to do all these things. Um, on top of that, uh, as I said, the, the IBM quantum developer certification is based on IBM's specific uh, SDK Qiskit, which is uh, very popular and, and very widely adopted, but it is uh, hardware specific, specific to IBM's hardware. So um, if you're facing uh, an employer for a company that deals with a different type of hard hardware, it's um, a bit less relevant. Nevertheless, it's a proof of motivation, first of all. Uh, it's a proof that you're part of the ecosystem, and it's a proof that you, you do know those basic building blocks that are interoperable in a way, that are that can be adapted to different types of 
uh, software and hardware. Um, you know how to deal with a quantum computer, how to build a program that runs on a quantum computer. And that is perhaps um, where this developer certification makes the biggest difference is in um, really reflecting how the developer has this grasp over the basic building blocks of quantum computing. Um, and so in that sense, although it does have its limits, understandably, uh, this certification is likely to add flavor to a CV and really make a difference uh, for someone uh, applying to, to jobs in, in the quantum developer world. All right, Daphne, I appreciate your information on this. And of course, Daphne's full article, a really in-depth look at this certification can be found on ZDNet. We hope you'll check it out there. Thanks for watching.